All right, I've been practicing all month for this dance off. I think I got, I'm ready for this. I feel it. I got one of Mobile's best dancers around and are you ready for this thing? Question is, are you ready for it? Oh, I'm ready. I was born ready. I brought my music. I think we hit a few moves and just see what you got and then I'm gonna show you what I got. Uh, you're not gonna hurt anything, are you? I stretched out, I might pull a bike. Here we go, let's do it. All right, you ready? Okay. Okay. Uh, what? All right, you ready for this one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I can. You're gonna switch it up. Switch it up. <laughs> what you think about that? Woo! Is that all you got? All right. You ready for this one? I'm ready. What? Come on now. Oh, I can't do that. Let's see it. Come on. Come on. Uh. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. Great work is mandatory. It's a must. If you want to continue to grow and you want to get to the goals that you have set forth, then you have to put out great work. It's got to be the best. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Shop Talk. This week, EZN is getting into the holiday spirit, and guess what? You can join in on the charity. We're teaming up with Cops for Kids as a drop-off location for the program, and I got a little something to sweeten the deal, but I'm gonna tell y'all about that later. So I'm here with Officer March, the founder of Cops for Kids, right? That's right. And so today, man, I wanna do a ride-along. I wanna learn all about what you guys got going on, toys for kids, and I'd like to learn a few dance moves along the way. You think we could work that out? I might show you a few things. All right, man, I say we roll. What you think? Let's do it. Let's go. Right. Yes, sir. So, Officer Marks, how long have you been uh, doing Cops for Kids? Uh, Cops for Kids started uh, roughly a little over uh, four years ago. I've been dealing with kids and, and teens my whole life. Sure. And so I got kind of bored. And being a police officer, uh, mm -hmm. things that were going on across the country and, and how police officers are being portrayed sure. uh, through media and things of that nature, um, kids are seeing police officers as, as the bad guys. Right. Um, and I wanted to change their perspective and their, their heart about what law enforcement is and what we're designed to do sure. uh, and how we actually do care for people. So, uh, so I know one thing that uh, probably myself and my wife are guilty of is, you know, when when we see a policeman out and maybe the baby's acting bad, so, you know, Demi better act right, uh, there's a cop over there, he'll get you. Right. So, so we're probably not doing a great job of setting <laughs> that uh, example there, huh? I actually don't like it when parents <laughs> do that. We're uh, sorry. <laughs> As a whole, I'm apologizing for every parent out there. Because, <laughs> uh, again, we want kids to understand that, that we care for them and we're there to help sure. them. And we don't want to give them a mindset that they, they need to be fearful of us. Uh, we want the respect from them, don't get me wrong. Right. But, uh, but we want them to have uh, uh, the to, idea. To know that, that they can come to you in a time of need or if there's, an, if there's ever an issue going on in our emergency, they should want to run to you and not Correct. run from you. Correct. The program's been around for a while. How does it actually work? What What do you guys actually do? Well, I, I started out um, getting a police car, a marked police car, mm -hmm. uh, before we ended up getting the cops for kids vehicles. Um, and taking them to the parks, letting the kids climb in and out of the police cars, turn on the lights, the sirens. and and just get a feel of what police officers do and then and sure. because this is their office most of the day. Absolutely. Uh, and, and it familiarizes the kids with the vehicles and now they get an understanding of what you guys actually do. Right. I was going to the schools, um, going to their lunch rooms, their lunch ways because I had an opportunity to hit every classroom at that time. Wow. Predominantly middle um, elementary schools. Okay, yeah. Um, and getting involved in their lives in that aspect of it. So, so Cops for Kids, you guys go around, you're educating them on your job, what police officers do. Um, 
how did Toys for Kids, because that's something that we're doing. Um, you know, we heard about it through a good friend of mine, Brandon Schmitz at Eagle Dent. Do you guys actually seek out businesses to help um, donate, or does that, do they come to you, or how does that actually work? Uh, we don't really seek them out. Sure. Um, but the more the program gets out there, um, the better opportunities uh, that businesses want to come on board and help us out with it. Mm -hmm. The Azalea City Tax Company that I went and spoke to about making a nonprofit actually became our first sponsor. Like your first sponsor. Very no first kidding. sponsor. So you probably had no idea it was going to yeah, turn I, into all, all that. I is. never, when I started this, I never, never really had a, a really a desire for it to get like it has. Sure. But the more I got out there with the kids at the parks and and, and letting them climb in out of the cars people started posting about the pictures that they took of their kids in the cars and, yeah. and uh, I started getting tags and, and things of that nature through Facebook. The beauty of social media, <laughs> right? And it just kind of, I just started calling it Cops for Kids and, and I just kind of continued on from, from that Built point. a life of its own. It so this is all Cops for Kids, um, speaking specifically to the Toys for Kids, which is the toy drive that you guys put on for Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the deadline? So Easy Ends hosting Toys for Kids. Like I said, my buddy out of Eagle Dent, and I think he kind of originated it, right? This was his he thing. He did. This was our. Uh, he he actually uh, wanted to partner with us last year sure. for the first annual Toys for uh, Kids. Toys for Kids. Yeah. And so he kind of kicked that off for us, and we were able to also have our first kids Christmas gift wrapping event. Really? Uh, where we took the toys that were donated from from that event uh -huh. and had kids come in that wanted to give back to Wanted to, to donate their time. As, right. As, and they would wrap these gifts for other kids that were less fortunate from the, for them. And uh, so that's kind of like what, we, what we're doing again this year. So the deadline for the toys to be turned in, so if someone was wanting to come to donate there at Easy Inn or out at Eagle Dents, what, what's the last day that they can bring a toy to our business? We're actually doing the our second kids Christmas gift wrapping event. Uh -huh. uh, which these toys that are being donated will be a part of that. Yeah. Uh, and that event is actually scheduled for December the 18th. We need to have all the gifts in. Um, that way y'all can come around and collect them or we can bring them to you. Correct. And then uh, they can participate in the kids' gift wrapping. Um, so if they wanted to find out more, I guess you, pro you guys probably have a Facebook or social media accounts. We do. Uh, we have a Facebook page that's called Cops for Kids, Cops for kids. all one word. Okay. Um, and we just recently kicked off our... Um, web page. What's the end goal for Cops for Kids? What do you see as the bigger picture? Well, obviously we want to, we want to continue uh, venturing out mm -hmm. and uh, making contact, positive inter having that positive interaction with these kids in the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, But we want to continue to grow the program uh, and get into other areas. Oh, wow, yeah. So maybe other cities around and then just see what happens from there. Um, but you know what? For now, what I want to do is I want to get back to the shop. I want to see those sweet, damp moves you got and see if you can't teach me how to cut a rug. <laughs> well, I'll, I don't know if I'll teach you how to dance, but okay. uh, we'll do something. All right. That sounds good. All right. Here we are back at the shop. And uh, people watching the show... Look, we've kept them waiting on this big thing that we know you know how to do. I don't think we should keep them waiting anymore. Why don't you show us what you got? I don't know what you're talking about. You got to know what I I'm talking no about, man. I've seen all these about. videos. Look, wait. I happen to have some Mardi Gras music, and I just know that's your thing. Chris, hit it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking there about. Is. There it is. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I've never moved like this before. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the floss right here. This is the floss. Then you go into the, the chute. Oh, baby. There you go. You kind of kind of like go around. <laughs> yeah, I got to the picture. Uh-huh. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Why didn't the cops can move like this? I didn't either. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Officer Martin. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It. Thank you for giving us the ride around. Cut it, Chris. I really appreciate, all fun aside, I really appreciate what you have going on. It's fantastic and uh, glad to be a little small portion of it. And I hope you chase all your dreams and get as big as you absolutely want to get. I want to say thank you all for having us out here. And, yes, sir. And helping us participate in this Christmas event. We really do appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, you've seen it here. If you got Christmas presents that you want to donate, we're taking them here at Easy Inn. Also, you can go out to Eagle Dent Repair off of Schillinger Road. So, guys, we have a special offer going on. It's $25 off of any detail over $100. 
So if you have a detail need, head on over to easyndetail.com and click get my estimate. Remember guys, you gotta bring a gift of $25 to get the discount. That's gonna do it for this episode of Shop Talk and I'll see you next week. This week, Easy In is giving it We're gonna learn a little bit, little bit about holiday <laughs> Oh, don't make me. Uh. Don't make me. Don't make oh, me. Oh yeah. This is what I'm talking about right here. I messed that all up. It's not this bad normally, and I'm ready.